Okay, today, okay, today let's discuss Psalm 6. Now, the main idea in Psalm 6 is that God disciplines his people not in his wrath and not in his anger, but he disciplines us according to his grace and his steadfast love, and he does this for his glory. So again, the main idea is that God disciplines his people according to his grace and his steadfast love because he is concerned about his praise and his glory. We've seen this idea over and over again in scripture, and this is the ground, this is the foundation for why God saves his people, and we need to latch on to this idea because it is good and it is, it is right and it gives much comfort for us. So God disciplines his people according to grace, not anger, and according to his love, not his wrath, for his glory. So let's see this idea together. We see at the beginning of Psalm chapter 6 that David cries out to the Lord. He is clearly in distress, and this distress concerns his body as well as his soul. Now, he returns to this idea in verses 6 through 7 where he talks about his tears. He, he is crying. His eyes waste away. His, his couch is drenched with, with his tears, and his bed is flooding with his tears. He is clearly in immense pain. Now, Psalms 2 through 6 have all been in the context of distress. These psalms have been authored and spoken out of immense distress. We saw that in Psalm 5. David is calling out to God, consider my groanings and hear my cry. We saw the same idea in Psalm 4 where he was in distress and these people are turning his honor into shame and they're seeking after vain words and lies. Same thing was found in Psalm 3. His foes were rising up against him. They were saying of his soul, there is no salvation in God. And in Psalm 2, we saw that the nations were plotting against the Lord and against his anointed. We saw that they were seeking rebellion. They did not want to submit themselves uh, to the king. So really we're seeing Psalms 2 through 6. The context really is a troubling time. Psalm 6 is no different. This is authored and spoken in a time of trouble, a time of deep distress. And in this distress, David cries out, God, deliver me. God, save me. Let your discipline not be characterized by anger or wrath, but rather love and grace for your glory. So this is the prayer. We see in verse 6, 4 through 5 that David is appealing to God's glory. Save me for your glory. He says, in death and in Sheol, who will praise you? He's basically saying, you get more glory in showing grace to your people. So do that, please. Then he returns to how, how much pain he's in. And finally, he concludes the psalm with, a, with verses of confidence. He, he confidently concludes the psalm by saying that the Lord has heard him. The Lord has heard his plea, his weeping and his plea. He has accepted his prayer and therefore his enemies will be ashamed. They will turn back and be put to shame in a moment. So in this psalm, we see that David cries out for deliverance from his enemies. He says, discipline me, not in anger or wrath. And if God did, that would mean that David would be utterly destroyed. But rather, he says, discipline me with your grace and your steadfast love for your glory. And this reality that God delivers and saves and disciplines his people with grace and love for his glory leads David to utmost confidence that God will act for his glory. So here's a couple of discussion questions. How often do you confess your weaknesses to the Lord? Is this a common thing we do? Next, David connects God saving him to God's glory. How has this doctrine that God saves us for his glory encouraged you? And has it produced confidence for you? That's what it does for David. Has it produced within you confidence? Why is it important that we end our prayers 
and our praises with confidence. David ends this prayer with confidence. Why is that an important thing? And finally, let's consider together why the discipline of the Lord, why is the discipline of the Lord an act of grace? How does this change our understanding of discipline? So I hope you enjoy discussing Psalm 6 together as you reflect on the fact that God disciplines us according to grace for his glory. As you reflect on that main point, I hope that it encourages you and that it leads you to intense confidence, just like it did for David.